Lord Santeca was a human male, born during the final years of the Republic before the Clone Wars. A strong supporter and a friend to the Jedi and those who fight for freedom and justice. Today, we're going to explore the full history of Lord Santeca and how he became one of the most important figures during the Age of Resistance. So sit back, relax and have a glass of DUCK! Welcome to Star Wars Timeline. As I said earlier, Lor Santeca was born during the final years before the Clone Wars broke out across the galaxy. During the Clone Wars, he became a follower of the ideals of the Jedi Order, even though he was not Force sensitive. During the time of the Galactic Empire, he became an Order of the Church of the Force, an underground faith during the Dark Times. During this time, he undercovered a lot of Jedi lore that the Empire had attempted to bury, gaining many followers himself because of this. Following the Battle of Endor, Tekka aided the New Republic by providing information regarding worlds across the galaxy. This helped the New Republic greatly, as the Empire destroyed many documents that would have been useful for galactic reconstruction. He joined Jedi Knight Luke Skywalker and his sister Princess Leia Organa, helping them to recover other Jedi lore that the Empire had to try to erase. At one point, Luke raided one of Sidious' vaults on Pilio and obtained a compass. This compass in particular led Lord Santeca and Luke to Akto, the location of the first Jedi Temple. Tekka kept the location secret and would tell no one for many years to come. As Luke began to train the next generation of Jedi, Lord continued to travel with him across the galaxy to many worlds, searching for Jedi lore, including at some point the old Jedi Academy of Jocasta Nu. At this time, Luke began training the son of Leia and Han Solo, Ben Solo. Law also joined Luke and Ben on a range of different missions. Together, they went on a mission to the planet Elfrona, having received information on an ancient Jedi outpost. After entering the temple, the trio were confronted by the Knights of Ren, who attempted to persuade Ben to join them. At this time, Ben refused, and protected Tekka while Luke engaged the Knights of Ren. Luke was successful in driving the knights away from the outpost. However, soon after, disaster struck. Snoke had begun attempts to seduce Ben Solo to the dark side of the Force and join him as his apprentice, all under the command of the hidden Phantom Emperor Palpatine. Luke had discovered this, but too late. He looked into the mind of Ben and sensed the darkness. Instinctively, Luke ignited his lightsaber, however it was a fleeting moment and he was soon overcome by shame and regret. Waking to find his uncle standing over him with his lightsaber drawn, Ben believed he meant to kill him and fought Skywalker. He attacked him and thought he had killed him. Ben then left the ruins of his room, confused and consumed with despair and rage at the apparent betrayal. A quick reminder guys, if possible please don't forget to like and subscribe. It really means a lot to me and helps me continue to make content like this. If you also have any ideas for lore videos, or theories, or reviews, or any upcoming comics that you might like me to have a look at, please comment them in the comments down below, I'm always open to any suggestions. Again, they can literally be as wild as you want. Like, I'll literally do a lore video on what happened to Jar Jar Binks after Revenge of the Sith. He became a bit of a clown. I mean, he was a clown before, but now he's more of a clown. Ah, oh, I'll save that for the video. Comment down below if you want me to do that or something. Anyways, on to the video. Overcome with his emotions, Ben went to the main part of the temple as a powerful storm brewed above it and set it ablaze, killing the Jedi inside, then left the world behind. When Luke awoke, he found his Jedi temple engulfed in flames, and he came to believe that Ben had destroyed the temple, killed his fellow pupils, and recruited the others. Overcome by grief and despair at his failure to rebuild the Jedi Order, Skywalker retreated to Akto. He came to believe that the Jedi legacy was one of failure and cut himself off from the Force. Lor Santeca later found out that Ben had turned to the dark side of the Force and joined the Knights, becoming Kylo Ren after the destruction of the new generation of Jedi. He also learned that Luke had vanished into exile after his Jedi were destroyed and went to the first Jedi Temple and had retreated to Akto. Law actually owned a partial map that revealed the location of the Jedi Master. It wasn't too long until the Resistance and the First Order 
became aware that Law had the map. Hoping that her brother could return and help defeat the First Order, Leia sent Commander Poe Dameron, a pilot in the Resistance, to search for Santeca. Poe and the Black Squadron first travelled to Urvanis, where they met a being called Kreesh, someone who Law had encountered in the past. They also visited Gracchus the Hutt to ask him about his encounter with Law. Together, the two gave them information on all the places that Santeca had visited. It turned out Law had actually travelled to Cato Normoidia in disguise. He went on a guided tour in the palace, where he then broke off from the group and headed into the vaults. Using a special cloak, he managed to walk through laser and get into one of the vaults. Inside was a golden box. He opened it and found an ancient object crafted by using both the light side and the dark side of the force. However, guards quickly became aware of Law's plan and captured him. He was then put in chains and taken to a prison cell. Santica claimed that they had no right to hold him, and that he was only looking at the object and had no intention of actually stealing it. His pleas were ignored by the palace's owner, Makun, but at the very same time, a significant ship landed at Baron Rea's platform, an opponent of Makun's. Makun asked furiously what tricks Rea had used to get such a significant client. When the person took a few steps out of the ship, Makun didn't recognise her, but Santeca informed him that it was Leia Organa. He was then taken to trial to face his crime of attempting to steal the artefact. During his trial, Santeca explained to Makun why he had acted as he did, but Makun didn't listen and instead stated that Santeca would be executed. When Santeca was taken to his cell, Poe Dameron suddenly broke in, and with the help of Black Squadron, they were able to escape, fighting some old vault droids and getting back to Dakar. After the rescue and landing back on Dakar, he met with Leia. Santeca told Leia that although he did know where Luke actually was, he had his suspicions and asked for a starship so he could investigate for a bit. Once he had Skalka's location, Santeca would send word of where they would meet up and get the information. Shortly after Santeca's departure, Leia reunited with Poe, informing him of his mission and that Santeca had the map to her brother, remarking that the Empire ended on Jakku and now the end of the First Order will come on the same place. Sure enough, that time came eventually, and Law met with Poe Dameron on Jakku. Law gave the map to Dameron just before the First Order arrived. Poe fled as Kylo Ren arrived with his forces and assaulted the village, during which Law was captured by stormtroopers and brought before Kylo Ren. The Dark Warrior demanded the map to Luke, while Santeca expressed his sadness at what the young man had become. When Law did not comply, and alluded to Ren's heritage as a Skywalker, Ren, while sarcastically agreeing with Tekka's claim that the Dark Knight couldn't escape the truth about his family, killed him with his lightsaber and ordered the destruction of the Jakku village. Just a quick message, please don't forget to like and subscribe this video. It really helps me continue to bring you videos like these. Also, feel free to comment any lore or theory videos that you would like to see next. It can be as wild and crazy as anything, such as the lore of Jar Jar Binks, or what happened to the Ewoks. Here's a quick spoiler, they got their own TV show. You should watch it. The map that Santeca gave his life to protect ultimately made its way to the Resistance. Poe, who managed to escape from Jakku, then reported to Leia, telling her that he lost the map and that Law had been killed. But Organa assured him that BB-8 was at Takodana, leading them to go there and rescue the droid. A young girl named Rey had aided BB-8 with the help of a former First Order Stormtrooper called Finn, as well as Han Solo and Chewbacca, and together they fought in the Battle of Takodana. Rey was then sent to Acto to find Luke, where she discovered the exiled Jedi Master and offered him the lightsaber that had once belonged to him and his father, a sign that the, uh, he was the only hope that the galaxy had left. And that is all the information that we have on the legend known as Law Santeca, whom without the war would, with the First Order would never have been won. Thank you all for watching, and may the Force be with you, and be safe.